Good afternoon, my name is Rory Kagan with Grow Strong Industries and today I am super excited to show you the all new Kind LED Grow Lights X750 Grow Light. You can see this is quite a large fixture, it's 42 and a half inches long, 44 and a half inches wide, only about an inch and a quarter thick so it's got an extremely low profile, a little bit more if you add that driver there on top but that is 100% detachable. You could place that outside of your tent, on a gear rack or uh, anywhere away from your light to maximize your grow space. The build quality of this thing is amazing. You can see it's got this really nice anodized finish. It's got a nice heavy uh, weight to it. And so you can just tell as soon as you take this thing out of the box that it is built to last. The failure rates on these are lower than 1%. The diodes are set to last over 100,000 hours. So what makes the X750 unique? Well, if you've looked at lighting at all in this industry, you'll see that most fixtures are very much the same. They're utilizing those white diodes uh, with the far reds speckled in. That's not what we do at Kind LED. We are a plant first company, and so we have what we refer to as a targeted full spectrum. The targeted full spectrum represents the entire photosynthetic spectrum and beyond, more on that in a minute, in the proportion that the plant is going to absorb them. When you have a fixture with these high efficacy white diodes, they are very heavy in the yellow and the green in the middle of that photosynthetic spectrum. They are too heavy. So even though you have a high efficacy rating on that diode, how efficient is that fixture? You see, efficacy is a rating that measures how well a diode converts energy into photons but that metric doesn't speak to what the plant is going to utilize out of those photons. So when you look at a spectrum that peaks in the yellow and green, 20 to 30% of that is just gonna be reflected by the plant and that takes that efficacy rating and brings the actual way down. We have created a spectrum that's 100% usable by your plants, which means it's among the most efficient lights available today. What else makes this light unique? Well, it's got two separate channels, one that includes the primary spectra. Uh, each of these six bars that you see here includes an assortment of blue, white, red, far red, infrared, and ultraviolet diodes. Each channel is independent and completely dimmable from a scale of 0% to 100%. So during your early vegetative growth, we can kick this on at a low intensity so your plants can get used to the new environment that you're putting them in and slowly kick that up as they mature. This complete spectrum is going to give you amazing vegetative growth. You're going to have vigorous, fast growth, very bushy plants with super tight internodal spacing. And that is going to set the stage for a very productive flower. Once we kick this light up to 100%, and I'll do that here for you for a second, but it's going to get so bright that we're going to have to turn it back down again. This is at 25%, if you can believe that. Kicking it up to 50. 75, put your sunglasses on, now we're at 100%. So you can see how bright this is to the human eye, although brightness doesn't really matter. What does matter is that this spectrum that it's putting out is over 1700, uh, the PPF is over 1700, and it's 100% utilizable by the plants. Now here's where it gets really exciting. That second channel that I spoke of is the UV and IR, ultraviolet and infrared. Now those two wavelengths are technically outside of the photosynthetic spectrum, but boy are they important to your final harvest. They are responsible for increasing quality and potency and that overall bag appeal of your final product. Basically, they're harmful rays, right? So if we go out into the sunlight, we wear sunblock to protect ourselves from the sun. Well, our plants have their version of sunblock too. And guess what? It's trichomes, it's oils, it's all those things that we're really looking for in a productive harvest. So when we start to introduce these to the plant later on in flower, their reaction is to protect themselves with the means that I just mentioned. So we have the ability with this light to also kick up the intensity on that 25%, 50%, 75%, and ultimately up to 100%. This allows you to introduce the right amount of UV and IR at the right phase of your grow. Each of these plants is indigenous to a different area on the planet and are therefore accustomed to set levels, specific levels of UV and IR in their natural environment. 
So we want to do our best to replicate that. Too much or too little will not elicit the results we're looking for. And so having this on a dimmable channel is so important to finding that sweet spot. Some other fixtures in the marketplace do have UV and IR, but they're part of that main channel and they are fixed. You cannot set them at all. And that means we're introducing potentially the wrong quantity of UV and IR at the wrong stage of growth, which is going to be counterproductive. So make sure that you do your research when you're considering a light, if you want to get into that UV IR side, to make sure that you have that controllability so you can set it at the correct uh, quantity for your particular plants. The X750, as with all of our products, is innovated and ships out of our facility in California. If you have any questions about this product or any in the GSI portfolio, we encourage you to give us a call at 855-GGT-GROW. We have a whole team of expert growers that are here to answer any question that you might have about one of our products or even just growing in general. They wanna make sure that everybody has the best experience possible growing and feels entirely confident in what they're doing each step of the way so that they can get the results that they're looking for. Thank you for joining us today. Again, my name is Rory. Happy growing, everybody.